Hi, I'm Donna from XOXO. This video is all about half square triangles, also known as HSTs, using the two at a time method along with helpful tips from cutting and trimming to sewing HSTs together. Phew, let's jump right in. To start, you'll need two squares of the same size. Mark a diagonal line on the wrong side of a square. Then place them right sides together. Next, sew a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides of the diagonal line. Then cut along that same line. Now you have two half square triangles. Press your seams open or to the dark side or whatever your pattern instructs. Before we get to trimming, here are some tips when working with two at a time HSTs. Tip number one, working with printed fabrics. Pay attention to the two squares as you place them right sides together. Take a peek to get a preview of how your prints will look before it's sewn together. Here's a sample if I place a diagonal line this way on a print running vertically and the same diagonal line on a print running horizontally. Lastly, here's the same diagonal line on a print that has an upright design. Patterns typically have HSTs going in different directions, so keep that in mind when using directional fabrics. Tip number two, make a test HST block using scraps before cutting into the fabrics of your project. Creating a test block will help you figure out if you're gonna want more wiggle room for the trimming step. If that's the case, simply cut your square a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch bigger than what the pattern calls for. Just remember though, if you're working with a pattern, you may need additional yardage to account for your larger squares. Tip number three, chain piecing. Sewing multiple blocks without breaking the thread is a technique called chain piecing. Like an assembly line, sew a quarter inch seam on one side of the diagonal lines of your paired up squares, one after the other. When one side is done, you can either snip the chain or just continue sewing a quarter inch seam on the other side of the diagonal lines. This is a quick and efficient method for making all of your HSTs in one city. Tip number four, invest in a good ruler. There are a lot of rulers to help HST cutting a breeze. A square ruler is easy to maneuver and allows you to keep your HST in place. You'll just use its built-in 45 degree line instead of the one on your cutting mat. Another one is a block lock ruler and it works great if your HST blocks are pressed to one side. It locks onto the diagonal seam so it makes trimming very speedy. All right, let's start trimming. To trim without a specialty ruler, line up the seam of an HST block along the 45 degree line. For this demonstration, I'm trimming this block to a four and a half inch square. Position your block beyond a desired size so there's a bit of excess on all sides. This will allow some wiggle room to trim your block properly. Now place your ruler on the desired size, that's four and a half inches for me, and trim. Repeat the seam on the top. As a side note, if you're a lefty, you'll just trim on this side first, then the top. Okay, it's time to trim the remaining sides. Rotate your block 180 degrees and line up the seam again along the 45 degree line. Now you'll position your trim sides along the straight edges. And a side note, if you're a lefty, you'll be positioning the trim sides along the four and a half inch marks since you'll be trimming here. Place your ruler on the desired size that's four and a half inches for me, and trim. Do the same for the top. And that's it. I've got a four and a half inch half square triangle that's ready to be sewn to another block. Now it's time to sew your HSTs together. When you place them right sides together, their seams will either intersect or the seams will run parallel. And if that's the case, you'll just line up these seams before sewing. Once they're sewn, you should have a quarter inch of seam allowance, so when sewn to another block, your stitches will land right here, keeping the points pointy. If you're looking for half square triangle patterns, the Story Hour quilt is great for beginners. You can find it at xoxo.com. Please like and subscribe for more beginner-friendly tutorials, and thanks for watching!